I'm basically a mechanical engineer. My undergraduate degree was in mechanical engineering and uh, upon graduation I went on to work um, for a global automotive company where I worked for six years and then um, uh, while, while I worked there I began to see the profound impact that Industry 4.0 is having. So big data, IoT and AI. So um, it's having significant impact across industries and uh, I began exploring this area so that I could position myself um, for uh, future career growth. After having done my research, I, um, I was convinced that Cranfield was a great place to join because um, firstly, uh, it's, a, it's a focused post-graduation university. Um, secondly, uh, they have great ties with industry. And also, uh, one unique aspect I found was that uh, Cranfield um, was welcoming students from different backgrounds, not just from uh, like computer science or uh, statistical backgrounds, so which I found appealing because it kind of uh, reflected the situation that I, I came from. Um, the group project was a great uh, learning experience for me personally. Um, um, so we, the theme of the um, um, group project was um, improving the safety and security around airports. So we had the freedom to um, pick a project um, which, um, which uses uh, a, a technique called pose estimation. So which looks at um, the distinct key points in the body of a human and, um, and trying to identify what they're doing. So um, the topic that our team chose was um, detection of alcohol intoxication in airports because it's a big uh, area of research and it's also one of the major disruptive behaviors in, um, in aircrafts as well as in airports. So it was quite an um, interesting experience. We had the opportunity to conduct an experiment at the Cranfield Student Association where uh, we recorded videos of um, sober as well as intoxicated people and uh, we, we manually labeled um, these people and um, once we developed our uh, machine learning model we, uh, we tested and, um, um, and surprisingly we, we, ha we could achieve uh, pretty, pretty good results um, using some of the ML techniques um, so it was a great um, opportunity to apply AI on a real world uh, problem.